Think about your favorite games. Have you ever wondered how they were made or why they look the way they do? There are a lot of steps and different jobs involved in creating a game. Today, you will practice these steps as you design and test your own computer game encodable. Here's your mission. Design your own version of an asteroid blaster game. Use conditional statements to make observations as you change the game code. So what goes into making a game? Well, people. Here at Codable, we have two programmers, one artist, one head of product, and one project manager, all working on the game you love to play. That's five people who collaborate and work together to make one game come to life. Let's start from the beginning though. There are some basic steps that people go through in the process of making a game. Step one, imagine. What is the idea for your game? Step two, design. What will your game look like and how will it work? Step three, create. Program your game. Step four, test. Have people try it out and give feedback. Step five, improve. What is working? What could be better? Repeat this process to continue to improve your game over time. Let's take a look at this process in Codable's Game Designer. We've already taken care of step one and come up with the idea for this game. The goal is to clear the colored asteroids with the fuzzballs. Today, you will help with the rest of the steps. Here's what you'll do. First, open the game settings and take a look at the code. You can add to it or change it. For example, if you apply the galaxy background, then the background will change colors. In programming, this if-then relationship is called a conditional statement. For every design decision that you make in this activity, you can use a conditional statement to observe the effects. Let's look at another example, this time in the asteroids file. If I select drop direction up, then the asteroids will clear by moving up. In the bins file, if the number of bins is five, then I have more asteroids to play with. Use conditional statements like these to observe changes as you design the rest of your game. Be sure to save your code by clicking the green check mark each time. You did it! When you are done, test it out. Trade with a partner for them to play too and get feedback. Finally, make changes based on feedback from your partner. For example, if your friend says the game was too hard, you will want to change the difficulty. If you choose hacker, then it will be hard. But if you choose normal, then it will be easier. Don't forget, game designers are never done after just one try. Building a game takes a lot of testing and improvement. Just look at how Codable has changed over the years. And we're not done yet. Now it's your turn. Open Game Designer, create a game, and complete your mission. Design your own version of an asteroid blaster game. Use conditional statements to make observations as you change the game code. Good luck!